Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So following the sketchbook tour video, you guys probably already know that I like to film the first page of my sketchbook and I wanted to share that process with you guys. So today I am working in the Arteza sketchbook. As usual, all materials will be listed in little flags above as well as in the description. So please check that out before commenting um, what materials I use in my videos. Um, just from like the off chance, sometimes I do miss um, putting in the materials. So yeah, if, if I miss putting in the materials, then feel free to ask. But today, uh, you guys probably know who or what I'm gonna be drawing for the front cover, not front cover, front page of the sketchbook because if you followed my community post, you would have saw like a little sneak preview of it. But yeah, so today I'm gonna be using majority of the Prismacolor Premier colored pencils and that's basically it. Um, other than the sketch, which I usually usually use my Pilot Color Eno in the color red, I decided to use pink this time and I didn't film the sketching portion. Now, the reason being is usually it's hard to see. Like, I think even right now, it's kind of hard to see exactly what I have sketched out. And I don't want to fiddle around too much with the camera settings to make everything dim and dull to get the sketch to show up. So you guys kind of have to deal with um, not seeing that sketching portion. And it wasn't very exciting. Um, yeah, and I kind of did it when I wasn't at my desk, so filming it would have been difficult regardless. Uh, yeah, so I just started right ahead with a lot of the lighter tones for Masaki's face. So using like using a lot of like peach tones, pink tones, beige, all that jazz. And skin's usually like the most fun I have with just layering pencil crayons as well as hair. So you guys know that recently I've been liking using pencil crayons and coloring hair in a weird way where it kind of looks like rainbowy almost or like adding like blues and purples into like brown hair or like black hair just because like it's more fun to layer it that way as well as makes it less flat and boring looking but okay the only gripe I have about with like this whole this little illustration on the front page is that I made Masaki's arm I believe too short um, just from his shoulder to his elbow for sure is like too short and I tried to correct that as I go on because I tried to extend his elbow lower and lower but um, overall he kind of looks squished and I think that's because when I was sketching it I wasn't using reference or planning out the whole composition in one go. I did sketch out the head and worked my way down, which caused some problems, but like overall, I'm not too bothered by it as much. Um, Cause I do have my sketchbook in front of me and I'm looking at it and it's not like killing me inside that I don't like it, I guess. He just looks like, like a man in a child's body, if that makes sense. I don't know. But like overall, I really do like this illustration and hopefully you guys enjoy watching the process of it because there's a lot of like little flowers that are going to be surrounding him. Now, I believe I showed it in the beginning, but I'll pop it on the screen again. But this is based off of a little sketch that I had in my previous sketchbook of Masaki laying in these pinkish peachish colored flowers and one of my favorite color combinations and I think I've used it several times. It's either teal, um, like a teal turquoise color with pink or red. And that's what I did for this one. I've done it before. I think I've done a June painting where I used teal and red. And then I've done a painting of Roa from, or Min Kyung from Hinapia with her like minty turquoise hair. And I think I used like like a baby pink almost with that one. So yeah, I really love those color combinations. And I've been thinking about doing another one again. I've done that color combination, I think the most probably with Masaki because obviously his whole attire is more or less teal other than like, you know, like I do, if I do his full body, obviously you're gonna see like majority of brown, but the majority of his color scheme is like this teal-ish color, which I really like just because of his sweater. And I usually draw him with pink flowers because that 
tends to suit him a little bit better in my opinion rather than blue because this teal color would I think match too closely with the blue so I like to use pink or like red or like an orangey red with this color combination as you can see I am working on the hair which is one of my favorite parts of this illustration just because like I really love layering that color and if you guys ever have like pencil crayons and you find like maybe layering browns or reds or blacks like super boring I recommend doing this just adding purples and blues or greens or whatever colors in your um, illustration and adding it like to little areas it just makes it look a little bit fun I guess I wish I did add a little bit of pink or and maybe red to his sweater a little bit just to bounce off a little bit of the color but I don't think I did anywhere um, yeah looking at it I haven't so another thing I do want to talk about is the Arteza sketchbook so when I first started working in this you guys probably know this but the first page of my sketchbook is never actually the first page I work in because that would probably lead to a disaster um, because I do like making sure that the first page is decent looking, nice looking, just for myself mostly because it is the first thing I see when I open up the sketchbook sometimes so like I want it to, to be enticing for me to be like oh I really want to draw in the sketchbook and not like oh god I want to hide this but yeah, so I did do a few illustrations with my usual doodling methods, I guess. Um, so using Crayola super tips as well as like my fine liner, or not my fine liner, my needlepoint pens. And I've noticed that it probably won't be my go-to way to doodle in this particular sketchbook. The paper's a little bit too rough and it absorbs a lot of the ink more compared to my previous sketchbook. And previous sketchbooks, I've always had like really smooth paper. So like the ink just really like glides onto it and you know, like colors are very vibrant. They're a little bit streaky if you use water-based markers. And even here, they're a little bit streaky, but because they take in the ink a little bit more, it lays almost like flat, but like patchy in a way, but not like streaky, if that makes sense. Um, I'll probably talk about it in another sketchbook video where I'm gonna be, I guess like next week's video, I do have a video plan because I did use watercolor and pens in this as well as pencil and I use pencil crayons and I've used like, I just testing a bunch of different mediums as well as I did a test page at the back of the sketchbook as usual. And I think my favorite doodling method is actually using watercolor in the sketchbook to add color or I'm going to be using pencil crayons in more of like how I did Masaki here so not showing too much like pencil lines or anything it's just like purely pencil crayon is probably the method I'm going to be using to add color to the sketchbook later on I'm probably still going to be using the Crayola super tip markers but like it's not my favorite and I kind of want to make sure I don't use up my Crayola markers like too much because I do have plans to use them in other sketchbooks in the future and I kind of don't want to order another pack just to have like you know just to replace like you know one or two colors um but yeah next week I will show you guys the maybe some like photos of what I mean about the colors for markers or not the colors the way marker lays on top of the Arteza sketchbook and I mean markers, I mean like water-based markers like the Crayola Super Tips. And yeah, even my favorite needlepoint marker or pen that I've been using in the other sketchbooks, I can't really use in this particular sketchbook either. First, it doesn't dry, so it smudges a lot. And second, it just skips a little bit more. So I have to use a more thicker um, pen or I just have to deal with the pen skipping a lot. Uh, I do enjoy using pencil in the sketchbook. Um, pencil appears a lot darker, so even my super light lines I can see more easily, I guess, in the sketchbook. Which, it, you know, it's just a bit of a learning curve again, <laughs> I'm getting used to the sketchbook. Um, so I think we're coming to the end of this video. I just want to thank you guys very much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed watching the progress and if you have any questions about the Arteza sketchbook feel free to ask me down below and I'll try to address them in the next video where I'm attempting watercolors. Yeah, uh, 
thank you very much for watching and i'll talk to you guys next week with another sketchbook doodles video bye